What's up YouTube, Dale here from Zephyr, and today we're here with Marvin, and Marvin got second place with his Ice Barrier profile, so I thought no better chance than now to show off his profile. So Marvin, take it away. Hi, so uh, I'll start with the Ice Barrier uh, cards. Um, so the first one, three Revealer. This is probably the best monster in the deck. So normal summon, discard one, uh, special, uh, out any sort of Ice Barrier tuner. Um, so normally the best starting card. Uh, so off of that, normally what I'd go is I would summon one Hexa Spirit. Uh, Hexa Spirit has the ability to sort of send a uh, level two or lower tuner to the grave, which then would send Mirror Mage. Um, playing today, uh, I would probably push this up to three. I only have two, so. Uh, but when this is sent to grave, add, add any Ice Barrier card. Um, this is probably one of the most important cards in the deck uh, because you will, uh, in a in a combination we'll probably summon this back. Uh, when sent to grave, often what I would sum add is speaker. So I ran speaker at two of. Um, so a good extender. So uh, I can special it if I control an ice barrier monster. So normally I'd have reveal on the field, so which would obviously help me extend into sort of like a Bahamut Shark and Toad. Uh, Three of the Georgius, uh, again, really good card. Um, you can uh, special summon it, similar to Speaker, if you control an Ice Barrier monster, has the ability to summon another Ice Barrier to the field from hand or grave. So a great extender, um, because a lot of the cards that you are, or Synchro monsters you're gonna summon are probably uh, Synchro 10. And then uh, one of the Warlock, uh, which you probably will summon out off of the new uh, boss monster because it acts as an anti-spell. Uh, one, uh, General Wayne, because it can search out spell and trap, uh, so you it can be used for, ex for extension. And then uh, one General Raiho, uh, just a bit of an annoying card because uh, any time they have to activate a monster effect on field, they have to discard, so it can help sort of win that resource game. So that's it for the Ice Barrier monsters. Uh, in terms of the Ice Barrier Spells and Traps, uh, three Medallion, it's the rotor for the deck. Um, it's, more, it's more than once per turn, so it's really good. Um, one Freezing Chains, uh, I didn't see it today, but again, it's a bit of an extender, someone from, someone from a Graveyard, and also, again, sort of gives it protection because it makes them unaffected. Uh, winds, wind over the ice barrier. This is one of, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep in there, but I did see it play once in terms of uh, it can help you summon an ice barrier. Maybe it's not the one you want. Tribute, uh, use this to tribute off and summon out the one that you do want. Uh, trap cards, one ice barrier. Obviously, you're just going to send it to grave, search out uh, any you know water monster you need. And then one sort of frozen domain of the ice barrier again, sort of gives a bit of protection to your uh, ice barrier monsters, and it has a sort of like a, a bounce back effect, which can be quite useful. Uh, as for sort of non-engine, uh, three ice shade ran uh, easy extenders, just goes straight into your boss monster because uh, when you summon it, it will summon a level three token, so straight into the level ten. Uh, and two fishball carpuna. Uh, so again, it's an easy way to special summon out a one of your ice barrier monsters. So reveal this and one other special summon one of them. Uh, and then in terms of other cards, uh, one foolish barrel and one foolish barrel goods. Um, obviously, mi send mirror mage off this as well as send off uh, the ice barrier ca trap card. So just other ways to get into the to the engine. Uh, three cross out uh, to sort of protect um, the sort of earlier plays. So like Revealer, you really want Revealer to go off. So obviously preventing sort of Imperm and Ash. Uh, and then obviously two tactics. Uh, three Ash. Uh, three Imperm. And then two Nibiru and one Gamma Seal. Because uh, obviously you can add the Gamma Seal off of Ice Barrier, so uh, 
rather than playing free nib, you can obviously summon the gamma seal because uh, it's searchable. So that's it for the main deck. Uh, as for the extra deck, uh, obviously uh, Lance is the new boss monster. Uh, obviously has the effect that whenever you special, whenever your opponent special summons, it can special summon a ice barrier monster from uh, deck, graveyard, extra deck, and and pretty much anywhere. Um, so normally what I'd do, I'd summon this. You know, you'd summon the Georgius, the Georgius would summon something else, or the Warlock, or the Raiho. So basically you just set up three floodgates, because this is twice per turn as well. If it goes to graveyard, then I'm probably going to summon out... Uh, Trishula here, this the zero dragon of the ice barrier, because then I can banish three cards off the field. Uh, because it, when it does leave, it will summon this out or any ice barrier monster, and it will treat it as a synchro summon. Uh, if not, you know your normal Trishula dragon of the ice barrier could also be sent. You know, banish cards so make it difficult for their resources. Uh, I also put in the new sort of Brionac. Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't play it. It didn't come up today, so. I'm not sure whether or not I'll continue using it, but I mean, it's a good bounce effect. Uh, in terms of the cards that I did use a lot today was uh, Coral Dragon and Ravenous Croc. So there's a combo where you summon Coral Dragon using Ice Barrier tokens, and you go into the Ravenous Croc and you draw four cards off of summoning it. Uh, some other, other sort of like synchros that you could play. Uh, Glacial Beast Iceberg Narwhal. Mm, I was looking for other water synchros to play, so I'm not quite sure I'd continue playing this. Uh, obviously, it does have a sort of a burn effect, so it could be useful for time. Um, Adamantia Pater Rising Dragite, sort of spell and trap negate. Uh, Cheng Ying, again, it's water synchro level 10, uh, so it's easy to get out in this deck. Uh, same with the Ice Jade. Uh, Give me Adrian to get a bit of protection. Uh, white Aura Whale just to help sort of destroy the field. So that's it for, really for the Synchros. And then just a few other bits. Uh, so Bahamut Shark and Toad. So earlier I was saying that you can use Revealer, summon the Speaker, then you can get straight into Bahamut Shark and get Toad normally by the fifth summon, so you get that nib protection. Uh, and then I finished off with uh, Marincis Coral Alamon. Um, normally I'd use this to summon back the Mirror Mage. The Mirror Mage would tribute this off. I would summon three Ice Barrier tokens, go into the Coral Dragon, uh, get another token from Speaker, go into the Ravenous Croc, uh, and that would get me a four card draw. And then finally, uh, Sorcerer Sebek, which is another sort of uh, water monster that I can summon because normally you do get water locked uh, which also acts as a sort of gain life points so it helps with time as well. Brilliant so that was um, the first look at ice barriers for the channel in general anyway but it's kind of cool to see what the deck could do at a local environment it did do incredibly well like I said four rounds of Swiss uh, what was your only loss was to synchros? Yeah so synchros I mean I just bricked both times so didn't ha ha gain I mean, I lost game one because I didn't have any sort of hand traps, so they went full board. Really difficult to sort of play through it. Um, and then second second game, I just brick didn't have any ice barriers. Uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes that's just what happens. Yeah, a bit of a debt that, that's not obviously expected at locals or well, uh, as well. But it was nice to see ice barriers in motion. Hopefully we'll be able to see a bit more of this deck as well once it gets going. Um, and the new support definitely takes it up a level. So thank you very much for that one and stay safe. As always, guys, happy dueling.